This is Coon Cassis for IFL TV. We're in Riyadh, Riyadh season, Battle of the Baddest. I'm joined by Martin Bacoli. Mar Martin, looking very happy at the moment. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm so happy. You're looking you know, so excited for Saturday night. Absolutely. Um, talk about how this fight even came about. I mean, uh, yourself and, and Carlos Takam. How, how did it all come about? Uh, no, uh, I'm signed with a boxer. So I have only one fight this year, and uh, no, I was waiting. You know, boxer promised me to get a fight, but he couldn't get me a fight. And uh, uh, my Billy, you know, my coach Billy Nelson, because uh, I always call him my Billy, and he called me. He said we, you know, we get offer a Takam, but you know, Spence, you know, call, give him call and uh, ask him if you're ready to uh, to to take Takam, and I say yes. Why not? Because we're waiting for a boxer. I've not had a fight, you know, only one, uh, one fight for the year and I jump on a chance. You know, Takami always want me and always want to revenge Tony Yoka. I give him a big opportunity, why not? And I said jump on it and uh, today I am here. Obviously, Carlos Sakam has been around for quite a, a long time. He's been in with everyone. We know what Carlos Sakam is, hard as nails, very durable, etc. But you're going in there to knock him out, surely? Uh, yeah, but you know, he's got more experience. I'm not jumping to knock him out. Uh, I have much respect. I have to respect him first. I always respect my opponent. I'll respect him and I'll take him slow and knock out come. I'll knock him out. But if on a point, I'm going to win the fight. Um, I think it's not always you that um, links yourself with fighters as much as Billy Nelson wants to put you in with every single fighter yeah. um, uh, at the top level. But for yourself, if you could, I'm not, I'm not asking you to obviously overlook your fight, you've got Carlos Sacken, but I'm asking you, a perfect next fight for you, touch wood, everything goes well for you on Saturday. Yeah. Who is that perfect fight for you? Oh yeah, like you said, you know, I still focus on this one, uh, this one first because Carlos, Carlos is not anybody. You know, if I had Joshua, if I had uh, George Joshua, so he's a good opponent. I'm focused, 100% percent focus on him. And after that, so I can see, but I, I don't think in the UK, there's nobody who say yes right now. But I think maybe my eyes, maybe I'll take plane to China. If the big Zhang will say yes, yeah. But if not, maybe Walda, if Walda doesn't want the fight, then I'll ask WBA maybe to remove him from the first fight, from the first position in WBA. You know, we just now send a letter to ask or maybe mandatory to face who's a champion regular now. No, the plan, my coach knows the plan and uh, that is what I've, I've been told, but still waiting for the fight first. After the fight then, maybe if we meet again, I'll tell you who's next. Okay, well, we, we could ask you after your fight with um, yeah. Carlos Sakam for, for a better, uh, yeah, for yourself. <laughs> I get you're fighting Sakam yeah, and yeah. it's not yeah, really yet. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Tyson Fury and Ngannou? Oh. What sort of fight do you think you're going to see here? I think uh, Tyson will stop Ngannou. Not by knockout, but you no know, TK, because Tyson is too good for Ngano. Ngano, he done well in the MMA. He's a tough guy, but not in boxing. Tyson is the king in the boxing, so I think he will stop him before seven. That's my opinion. I saw it to be good. Uh, well, Tyson's expected yeah. to knock him out, Let's, right. but it's interesting to see how it plays out. Because he's got a big fight, you know. Don't forget, he's got a big fight on December, maybe. Uzik is a big fight than Ngannou. But that's not that he uh, need to disrespect Ngannou. I'm, no, you have to respect him. He said that it's a big fight. He will try to knock him out. Uh, so I can you know, go back in the camp for, for, uh, for Uzik fight. But Ngannou is a man. I will not be surprised if Ngannou stop him because he's got power. You know, he's a man, he's got 200 to fit, so he'll try to do his best. I wish him good luck. <laughs> Martin, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We wish you the best of luck on thank Saturday uh, here in Riyadh. Spectacular here, Saturday night. I can't even imagine yeah, what this is going to look like. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you here. Thank you, Martin. What's up, man? Thank you.